What's going on guys? It seems like Daddy Sakurai is just intent on making us feel melancholy about Smash Bros. 3DS and Wii U because once again we're getting more confirmation that this is most likely going to be Sakurai's last Smash Bros. iteration. Now, Kotaku posted this article, I didn't read any of it yet, so let's go through it together. So the title, Smash Brothers could be the creator's last game, it's sad man, you know, like stuff like this really just doesn't make me feel good man, I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm taking this too seriously, maybe I'm like being too affected by it, but it's, it's sad man, like you know, I don't want fucking Sakurai, to, I don't want this to be his last game man, I really don't, but I mean, damn, I shouldn't really, I really shouldn't be letting this affect me this much, but you know, I mean, Daddy Sakurai, I look up to him in a lot of ways, you know what I mean, and this is, this is an amazing series, it's just scary that, you know, even, I mean, I know he's done a lot, I know he's done a lot for this series, you know, but it's just scary to think that he's going to depart from it when he does such an amazing job in all these games, I mean, a bit, a few balance issues in Brawl, but I mean, still, he does an amazing job in this, and I just can't foresee a future Smash Brothers title not having his input in any shape or form, it just, it's disturbing to me you know I love this series this is a series I grew up with even though I wasn't involved in the Smash community officially until this year I've been playing Smash Brothers ever since I was freaking what 12 so I mean really really sad stuff to see here but anyways the potential cost of a great game in his semi-weekly column in Weekly Famitsu Smash Brothers series creator Masahiro Sakurai addressed fan letters one such letter focused on the toll developing the latest games has taken on him. And we've I covered this a million times. You know, it was that Sakurai said this game impacted him so greatly because he had to develop two games, the 3DS and the Wii U version. It was it was an intense process on him, you know, mentally, physically, emotionally especially. Wrote the fan, hello Mr. Sakurai. It sounds like the development of Smash Brothers was really, really hard. Reading your column sh sent shivers up my spine. Same here, man. I'm feeling those shivers right now, man. Like, it's fucking disturbing. I've never seen you so worn out. It made me appreciate the new Smash Brothers more than ever. Sakurai responded in frank honesty. It was very tough this time around. I doubt I'll be able to go on making games if it continues like this. But I consider myself lucky that so many people seem to enjoy Smash Brothers. This is a bit of a scale up from Sakurai's previous statements regarding his doubts on working another Smash Brothers, basically going so far as to imply he's ready to quit game development altogether if his workload remains the same. Damn, man. It's fucking sad, man. Like. You know, we get an amazing set of games at what cost, you know? Will we ever really see any games that are as polished as Smash Brothers 3DS and Wii U coming from Nintendo, coming from Sakurai himself? I mean, you know, call me a hopeless romantic, but I was really, really hoping and praying that Sakurai would, would develop or maybe have some kind of input in the new Captain Falcon game or in the new Captain Falcon game in the future, period. I just re I don't know why I was so fantasized with that, but I just was hoping that Sakurai would have something to do with the new with the new F Zero game, with the new Captain Falcon game. And stuff like this just hurts my heart, man. I mean, you know, I mean the F Zero thing is one thing, but to not have another Smash Brothers in the future that's this level of amazingness and work and value without Sakurai, it's it's I don't know. I'm scared, man. I'm really fucking scared by that. Um Yeah, man. Um, Sakura has been on a bit of a lamentation binge lately <laughs> due to the stress, an almost complete lack of private life thanks to the time-consuming nature of his work on Smash Brothers. But considering the effect it had on not just his mind but his body as well, it's hard not to empathize. Everyone has a limit, and for Sakurai, it was a while ago. I doubt Sakurai will retire from game development. It's really hard to keep an artist from his passion, you know? And that's a damn good fact to make right there. That's his passion. He wouldn't be able to make games that are this amazing if he didn't have a deep desire, a deep burning lust in his heart to create content like this. However, if the unlikely does happen, I don't think I can blame him. Same here for me, man. I can't blame Sakurai if he quits at this point. Hopefully his employers will get the hint and give the man some more freedom and plenty of vacation time. Sakurai should not be anywhere near game development. You know, as much as I want him to, you know, try to develop the new um, Fal Captain Falcon game or F-Zero game, he doesn't need to be anywhere near a game station. He doesn't need to be anywhere near a desk right now. He just needs to be on the beach, relaxing with his family. Oh, man. Damn. Damn. Va and let's see some comments. Sorcerer Lance says, Vacation time is definitely what the guy needs. That and being allowed to develop smaller, less stress-inducing games if he decides to step out of being a developer. If he decides not to. You're damn right. Damn. And you know, Sakurai, he's an amazing developer. Like, this guy, everything he touches is practically gold. So him constantly taking on massive projects like this is just not good for him. 
Not surprising, Sakurai pushed himself with this last Smash title. You could tell from his Nintendo Direct, he hit it well, but there are a few moments where you could tell he was in pain. I really hope he doesn't quit making games altogether. I can see him more as an overseer of new games, like the next iteration of Smash, instead of being directly involved. Whatever happens, I hope he has a nice long vacation. He's earned it. And I hope for his own sake that he can find a way to continue making amazing games without sucking out his soul in the process. It's really unfortunate that the state of the gaming industry has made 50 plus hour work weeks the norm, even well before crunch time. Damn. All I can say is, Daddy Sakurai, I hope you have a long deserved rest. You really need to just take a load off. Just hold, keep yourself away from the gaming industry for now. You know, you've created a juggernaut title, once again, two juggernaut titles. Smash Bros. 3DS and Wii U are probably some of the best games for their platforms right now. You don't need to do anything else. Just relax. Take it easy. Move back, man. I don't want to lose you. None of us want to lose you, Daddy Sakurai. We don't need you out of the gaming industry like this. Don't take on any more work. DLC, don't worry about it. I would even say, I'm even going as far to say is don't, don't put Mewtwo in. Just, just hold back, Daddy Sakurai. We don't need to lose you, man, all right? We really don't. It's really fucking sad, man. It's just, I mean, if you can't tell, I'm really fucking passionate about the Smash series, man. And it's just, uh, it's just really sad to see this kind of stuff. Damn. All right, guys, so I mean, um, let me know what your sentiments are, but damn, I'm really, let me know what your sentiments are in the comments. I'll talk to you in the next video. This is, I don't know how this is disturbing me so much. It's just really sad, man. Really fucking sad. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. And that goes especially out to Daddy Sakurai. Please, Daddy Sakurai, have yourself a damn good one. Go on a long ass vacation. Eight month vacation. Two year vacation. Who gives a fuck? Please. For the sake of yourself, and for the sake of us, and for the sake of the gaming industry, but mostly yourself, please take a load off Daddy Sakurai. Please.